Hello and welcome to MD TV Journal Club, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. BP Rahul and here is what we have for you all from the world of medicine. A recent study finds that gliburide is as good as insulin in gestational diabetes. Gestational diabetes is among the most common pregnancy complications affecting as many as 10% of pregnancies across the world. Gestational diabetes is associated with maternal morbidity such as caesarean delivery and neonatal hypoglycemia, large for gestational age infants and neonatal intensive care unit admissions. A key prevention strategy for reducing risk of complications associated with gestational diabetes is helping patients with diet, physical activity and home glucose monitoring. However, 30 to 50% of the individuals with gestational diabetes require the addition of a drug to achieve optimal glycemic control. Historically, both insulin and oral hypoglycemic agent gliburide were recommended for the treatment of gestational diabetes. Since oral agents such as gliburide have several advantages over insulin for the treatment of gestational diabetes, including greater ease of use, greater acceptance among patients, and lower cost, Gliburide become widely used for treatment of gestational diabetes across the world. However, recently a controversy has arisen as to the safety and efficacy of the gliburide for the treatment of gestational diabetes. A recent meta-analysis of 24 studies comparing perinatal outcomes between gliburide and insulin showed that while gliburide was associated with lower risk of caesarean delivery, but it was also associated with greater risk of neonatal hypoglycemia and longer duration of neonatal intensive care unit admissions. To sort out the controversy, this study was performed and published in JAMA Open Network. The study revealed the following findings. 11,321 patients with gestational diabetes initiated gliburide or insulin during the pregnancy from 2007 to 2017. The risk of neonatal respiratory distress was 2.03 per 100 births lower and the risk of NICU admission was 3.32 per 100 births lower after the continuous exposure to the gliburide compared with insulin. There were no statistically significant differences in gliburide versus insulin initiation in risk for neonatal hypoglycemia. Researchers in this study said that though gliburide is not recommended as the first line of medication for gestational diabetes treatment as given in the current guidelines of ADA and the ACOG, but there is an urgent need for future work that investigated the long-term safety outcomes for women and children exposed to different gestational diabetes treatment regimens, insulin, gliburide and metformin. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.